Hey guys, before we start this video on contrast flicker, I just want to mention that we are in the Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. So I am offering 50% off the Emrix Timelapse Complete Pack 2020. You can get all my classes ever made from the past four years. Yes, 50% off my entire complete pack. There's a link in the description below. Three days left, don't miss it. Anyway, let's go back to talk about contrast flicker and how to get rid of it. What's up guys, this is a new video. This is a bonus video I wanted to include in this class because I want to talk about flicker. Yes, damn flicker, I hate flicker, flickering. Uh, brightness flicker, contrast flicker. Actually, in this video, we're only gonna, gonna talk about contrast flicker because if you have other time lapse, brightness flicker is not gonna be an issue, but contrast flicker can be a big problem. And to a lot of people, me included, I, I sometimes deal with contrast flicker and once in a while, I have a few ways to remove contrast flicker on After Effects, but once in a while, it's not possible for any reason so for some reason on the time lapse like it's affecting anything else when i'm trying to fix it but things are different now and uh, no, lightroom has a way to apply some of the settings right here on the right a little differently on your image usually the contrast that's why it's called contrast free clear contrast flicker sorry and it's usually your contrast or, or flickering on your time lapse. And it could be the contrast here, whites, blacks, clarity, and the haze. Those five settings are going to create contrast flicker if you use them too much, or if there is anything on your time lapse that are going to create contrast flicker. It's usually created by big elements on your images that are gonna change from one frame to another. So it's the case so it will be created by clouds. I have contrast flicker on this time lapse actually that I edited with you a few videos before and I'm going to show you how the plugin works on this time lapse. It's, it's amazing. And I have a few other time lapses that I had like problems with contrast flicker for a long time. And even with everything I know on After Effects, it was not possible to fix it because it was too much. And I tried a lot of different things things here on, on Lightroom. So one way you can do it is actually to reduce it or re reduce the risk of having contrast flicker is to remove the whites and the blacks here and to not use dehaze, a little bit of clarity, I would say maximum 10 or 15, really, if you have a lot of contrast flicker, try to re-edit the time-lapse using uh, clarity like 10, 15, no whites, no blacks, no dehaze and barely no contrast. So if you want to create contrast on your time-lapse, use the tone curve. The tone curve is more going to be like a linear way of applying the contrast. It's, yeah, it's more a linear way instead of having it frame by frame. Here it's just going to apply it on like it is, like right there, like, like this. So having the dark and the shadows, the highlights and shadows usually don't create contrast flicker, but the lights, highlights and darks usually are going to create contrast flicker right here. But on the tone curve, it's gonna reduce it because it's a different way of applying the settings. But sometimes, whatever you do, whatever you do on Lightroom, Lightroom is creating contrast flicker and this is really, really frustrating because that is not so, it is not something that L or time-lapse can repair. L or time-lapse fixes brightness flicker amazingly well, but not contrast flicker. So I'm gonna go on Premiere. I have like a few videos I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you the before and the after, and then we're gonna talk about the, the plugin I am going to introduce in this video. So the first video, I'm gonna go right there. All right, so this is in New York. Um, I didn't have a lot of contrast flicker until after sunset, right by the Freedom Tower. If you look at the Freedom Tower right here, it's gonna come at some point before the clouds. Uh, there you go. Actually, at the same time than the clouds, right there. Okay, just don't mind the big, big, big dust spot that I haven't removed. I actually have never finished this time lapse. So obviously that was, this dust spot here, it would not be on the final clip. 
Uh, that's what happened, you know, when you have clouds and you just use the spot removal tool on Nightworm. That's why when you have clouds, do not use the spot removal tool. It's just easily fixable on After Effects. Anyway, let's go back to Contrast Flicker. So if you look at the clouds between the big tower here and the Freedom Tower, you can see a lot of flicker right there. Yep, you can really see it. Now, I'm going to show you another version completely uh, clean. Let's watch right there, this area between the two towers. Look at this, nothing at all. It is completely clean. Let's play it again. Completely clean, this is incredible. So what is this plugin? This plugin is called Flicker Free. It's pretty easy. It is a Flicker Free plugin from a Digital An Anarchy. I think that's how you say it. It's not free. I'm not gonna lie, it's not free. It is $149 for the license. But it is to me probably the best investment since at or time lapse. And I've heard about this plugin before, but I didn't know it was actually fixing contrast flicker. I thought it was only for brightness flicker. That's why I actually didn't purchase it until recently. Uh, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a shot for contrast flicker and see if it really works, you know, well. But it does. It does work for contrast flicker and it also perfect. It's a great addition to other time lapse because other time lapse is gonna get rid of all the brightness flicker and the flicker free plugin is gonna fix a little bit of contrast flicker, you know, in it here and there in your on your time lapse. And the thing is, it does not affect anything on your time lapse because um, I believe it is actually targeting the flickering. So if you have it, if you have flicker in the sky, it's gonna fix the sky. If you have uh, flicker on the trees, gonna fix the trees without affecting the cars or whatever else is on your time lapse. So uh, this is the, the their website. They have like overview and features. It was actually created for time lapse photography at first. That's why they say here, um, Flicker Free was designed to deal with time lapse flicker and works beautifully on it. If you like us uh, shooting time lapse, okay. So the thing is, yeah, they don't do the difference between brightness and contrast flicker, but it does. It does work on both of them. So yeah, it's a little pricey, especially if you're on a budget, but trust me, if you can get other time lapse and flicker free, it's just gonna change your life. And the thing is, what's great with it, it is actually working for pretty much every software out there. After Effects, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, Avid, Resolve, and Vegas. Yes, and Sony Vegas as well. I know a few people use that. How cool is this? So I'm actually not getting paid by the company to, to do this video and just, I was blown away by what this plugin can do and to show you really how powerful this plugin is and how it's actually changing my life. I'm gonna show you one more time-lapse that it's incredible. So this is a time-lapse of Paris where if you've been shooting in Paris, you, have, you know you have those huge uh, what we call a bateau mouche, like a fly boat, a boat. And every time I shoot by the Seine River, actually those boats are really big, really prominent, and look how big it is on my image right here. So obviously it's going to create contrast flicker. I've tried everything on Lightroom. I've tried everything I know how to do on After Effects, but I could not get rid of some contrast flicker in the cloud. So let's play the video and look at this, yes. It is really bad. So I'm gonna loop this here on Premiere and look at this in the sky. It is really bad flicker. And if you look at it, it just, it is because of all those boats here. Look, this one shows up, contrast are changing. And then it goes away. Contrast is going back to normal. And if you like go to where the flicker was bad, it's like right there, poof, because of this boat again. There's always something creating the contrast flicker. So it's all those boats. As you can see, the more contrast flicker I have, the more boats I have on the, set, on the river. So let's now show you with the flicker free plugin. So focus on the sky. I'm gonna remove this, okay. Focus on this area here. And as soon as all the boats are passing, remember, look at that. I'm gonna play it again. 
there's absolutely nothing. It is just, and all the boats, look, all the boats were here. So if I go frame by frame, it's not affecting the boats. The, board, the boats are fine. Look at the sky. I'm gonna go frame by frame. There's absolutely no contrast flicker left. And I'm gonna show you like a crop I did. So the top one is gonna be flicker free and the bottom one is original. And you're gonna see the line here. I cropped it like right there. So on the right side of my image, you're gonna have uh, the flicker free and on the left side, you're gonna have with, um, uh, with the contrast flicker. So let's play it. Look at the difference. You can see the lines right there. <laughs> I'm gonna play this, like I'm gonna loop this because this is crazy. You can definitely see the line. I'm gonna show you where the line is. Let's see, like if I remove the opacity, okay, so see, uh, the right side is gonna be flicker free and the left side here is with contrast flicker. So focus on this area here. Let's play. Look at, you can definitely see the line. And it's not affecting the clouds whatsoever. The clouds look like the clouds. And also I had a little bit of, um, flicker on the trees right there, also created by the boats. And it did an amazing job. I'm gonna show you one more time lapse where I had some bad flicker for some reason, probably cause um, very high ISO and the mix of wind and blurry frames kind of created some contrast flicker in the sky of the San Francisco time lapse. So if you focus in the sky right there, you can see a little bit on the right side. It's actually everywhere in the sky. It's not much, but it is there. So the way I could fix it was using eco effect on after effect, but look at this, we have a bunch of planes. So it was also duplicating the planes. So I could technically remove the planes, you know, with the opacity and the torquen fusion mode, and then apply the um, eco effect on after effect for, you know, without any plugin, but it is a lot of work or you can just use the Flickr Free plugin, plugin and look at this, nothing, nothing whatsoever. It is a clean as, I'm gonna beep this one, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away by this plugin guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not even paid by this company. I'm just blown away. Like I'm blown away by what LR Timelapse can do uh, with brightness flicker and the ramping and everything. So let me show you like this one. I had some flicker as well, contrast flicker in the sky that you're definitely gonna see right here. And remember, I, I used the tone curve. I used the tone curve. Um, I might have used maybe a little too much of clarity in the sky. Remember I had the filter. So yeah, it, it is pretty bad. It is pretty bad as you can see. Yep, now let's show you the flicker free one that I actually, I did it on Premiere Pro, so you can see the effect right there. I have it on After Effects and on Premiere Pro as well. You can, you buy it once and you can have it on all your programs. And look at this now. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. This is insane. This is crazy, like, it, I know it's $149, it's an investment for a lot of people. It is a lot of money, but it is an investment. If you're serious about your work, if you wanna create beautiful work, this is what you really need. Like it is doing an incredible job. It's making it easy. It's, look, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go on Pond5. I'm gonna go on Pond5 and I am going to, search your time lapse and I guarantee you in less than two minutes I can find a clip with flickering. I'm gonna do time lapse. I'm gonna watch like some random time lapses. Let's do, I don't know, let's see. This one had a jump, no flicker, but there you go. <laughs> it took me one minute. If I go towards the end, it's usually right after sunset when you still have, I can see, it's probably created by this right here, but it's still something that the Flickr free plugin can remove. So see, it took me like 30 seconds before finding one. Okay, there is something that is creating the Flickr, which is a natural source. So let's try to find something else. 
All right, so this one has some. It's not my time lapse. I'm gonna hide the name because I don't want to bash it, but this one has a little bit of contrast flicker here. I can see it. Oh yeah, towards the end, it's really visible. So see, it took me only like two minutes to find like three clips with flickering. So I'm just saying, if you can find a way to be better than those people, there's no reason that you're not going to end up selling your time lapses. So it is pretty easy. So see, you can sell it for like a few hundred dollars. Some clips can sell for a few hundred dollars. So $149, if you can create a clip that you're going to sell 10 times after this, it's just a really small investment. Again, I'm sorry if I'm trying to sell you this plugin. I'm just really, really excited about it because I recently started using it and it's just, it's changed my life. Contrast Flickr is not a problem anymore and I can really focus on what I want to shoot, the way I want to shoot it, the way I want to color correct it. I really don't have to think about, oh, I can't really do this because it's going to create Contrast Flickr. No, I don't care anymore because I have this plugin and it's just changing the way I work in time-lapse photography. It is like big time, it is. I know I'm getting a little excited, but it is a really, really big investment and I highly recommend if you're serious about your work. So this is it for this video, guys. I'm, I'm not gonna try to sell you more of this plugin. Um, I have a link in the description if you wanna check it out. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you have any question about contrast flicker, just let me know. And if you're watching this video at the end of November, don't forget that I have some Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals on my website, including 50% off on the MRX Timelapse Complete Pack. There's a link in the description below. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.